and give your wealth away and hand it to them and let them have it. And then they, of course, use that same wealth against you to destroy you, to restrict you in various sorts of ways. So we must be, so when you're filled with self-hate, your mind is reversed. What it, would, what it means is this, you move, you will love the things that destroy you and you will hate the things that advance your growth. And you watch and look at your behavior. Look at the behavior of your compatriots and watch if, if what I'm saying is not true. I hate to read. I hate to study. I hate to learn. Oh, but I love to party. I love to smoke. I love to drink. I love to screw. I love to, you know, ho, ho. And all the loves often you will find will be loves at what? That don't advance you one bit, and yet you can't get over them. You, 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 you're addicted to them, you see. But the things that lead to growth, growth in wisdom, knowledge, you see, self-understanding and self-discovery, healthy relations, self-control, all those things are, are, are hateful. And, and, but this is the only way a minority can rule over a majority of people, is by turning their minds backwards so that they love the things that destroy them and hate the things that move them forward. In order for these people to rule over us, we must hate learning. It's, it has to be built into us. We must think that we can't do math. Because you see, if we do math, if we were into learning, if we were into research and into thinking and into, you know, real philosophical uh, ideas and abstractions, we would defeat those people. They know it. So consequently, what they must do is rob you of all of these things so that they may stay in their place.